Today I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT and how we can integrate this into our automation framework. Before we actually get into coding, we're going to head over to OpenAI to generate an API key. Let's head over there now. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can actually follow. When you get to it, you've got to log in or create an account. Once you log in, click in here, click view API keys, and you have to create a new secret key. Once you get it, make sure you keep it because we're going to be using it later on. To play around with it without the code, we can actually go to Playground. And you got all these little configurations that we could be utilizing it later on. Uh, but we can just say, hey, look, create a Cypress script to go to google.com and search for a red car. And we're just going to test it out if it doesn't actually work. And do we actually get a script back? And it looks like we do get a script back and it looks promising. <laughs> um, so, you know, it looks like it's work. What we can, the cool thing about this is that we can actually copy the code. Um, so I'm actually gonna copy it. Let's head over to Visual Studio. I wanna create a new JSON file in the root and I'm gonna call it ChatGTP. I don't want to copy this code. Uh, because we're importing a new package, I'm going to actually install the package, which is npm install openai. And that's done. Make sure you uh, add this into your variable, it's uh, openai as API key, and then copy that code in. And that's just by, you can do it by export, that and then enter your key here hit enter and we should be able to access those key so you can see that we have what we copied over i am going to delete some of the things here uh, probably up to here because this is just repeated code i'm not going to use some of the configuration we uh, copied over. I've got my own settings that I would play around with and I feel like this is what best for me. Delete this. So I just use the then function to console log response. And now let's go and try if this works. So I'm gonna call node and then the file we just created. We're probably gonna get a lot of data back. Yeah. And the only thing we need to make sure is does it actually give us a 200, which it does. So we need to refine our data. And while I was playing around with it, I found out that when we go to our response, that data choice, first, or first choice in the text, that's where our response is going to be. So if I rerun this, here we go. So you can see we've got some script here. So let's make it more robust. Let's make it that we run the script by providing a bit of data, like a filling a form, uh, like file name, what file that, what file name that you want to save it as, and the steps. And when we run this, it will actually automatically save it into a certain directory. And the only thing we've got to do is run Cypress to test it out. So first thing we have to do is create a, a JSON file. And let's call it the same thing. So it's going to be an object. And the first property is going to be called file name. And let's call it login. And the second property is gonna be uh, called step. And then it's gonna be an array uh, because we're gonna give multiple steps. I'm just gonna copy this over because I got something that I've been working on. 
So this is basically going to soulsdemo.com, enter this username and into this password, click login and the URL should contain inventory. <clears throat> so we gotta go back and modify the code a bit and we gotta first of all import our JSON and we also need to uh, import FS so that allows us to actually create a file inside our then function we can actually delete this and we're gonna call in FS write a file and we're gonna write a file inside Cypress into uh, into end folder and the name of the file is going to what we get provide in the JSON file and then we are going to say hey save this information so one more thing we have to do is actually change this to take in the steps So if we run this, so we can see a file called login and inside that we have our steps. You can see that it actually generates a nice script, if we can say, uh, with the description and uh, it uh, explaining exactly what it does. The only thing we have to do now is to run Cypress. Domo true, let's see if it actually runs perfectly. You can see that our script is here. Now let's test it out. There you go. So you can see that it went into source demo. It actually retrieved the right element and it inserted the right text. Same with the password. It managed to figure out that a button and also making sure that the URL contain inventory. That's it. Hope you guys have fun playing around with this.